Hello everyone, I'm Ozai Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm giving you guys an update tutorial on how to install Reshade into your guys' 5M. There are a lot of tutorials out there at the minute that do not work on and are outdated and unnecessarily complicated. And this will be a guaranteed fix to that. So all you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. That means guys right here to the Reshade. Hit download Reshade and then save. Now we're going to be in a crucial step in this video that a lot of people missed out to make it work with the latest 5M version. So all you guys are going to want to do is we're going to click browse and then you guys are going to want to navigate to your guys' 5M main directory. So if you guys don't know where that is, all you guys are going to want to do is very simply, there's no typing in any command prompts, which a lot of people do and it's very over the complicated. What you guys are going to want to do is search for 5M, right click on the 5M exe, open file location, open file location once again on our shortcut. And then all you guys are going to, want to do is right click on the 5m.exe and then copy as path. Minimize that. And then we'll just type it in here. And there you guys go. Hit next. Install this one right here. Start x 10 slash 11 slash 12. Hit next. Hit next again. I'm going to uncheck all and then check all. Next. And it should be done in a couple of seconds, installing our reshade. And once that is done, all you guys are going to want to do is finish and then go back to our 5M where we had it open previously, our 5M directory. And then we're going to grab this reshade shaders file, reshade preset.ini, reshade log, reshade.ini and the dxi, dxgi.dll. We're going to control C, go into our 5M application data, go into our plugins and control V. We're going to go back to where we just were and we'll just delete the things we controlled V into our plugins folder because we do not need these in here. So we'll just delete these out of here real quick. There you go. And this is the one crucial step that people have been missing out in the other tutorials I were watching. What you guys are going to need to do is go into your 5M application data. And then what you guys are going to need to do, this is the most crucial step of all, is we're going to find our citizensfx.ini. We're going to double click on that. That should open it up into your notepad. And you guys will notice that you only have this line of code right here and you do not have this. You need to put this in to make your reshade work. So I will leave this down in the description below. All you guys will need to do is copy it, control C, and then just press enter and paste it straight under this line right here, like I have done there. You'd hit file and then save. And all you guys need to do, load up our 5M and you guys should be able to see now that before it probably wasn't running, you should be able to see here that Reshade has successfully compiled and actually loaded up in the top corner of your screen, which means it is working. Now, before I figured how to add that into my 5M settings, it wasn't working, it wasn't loading, and there was no fixes on it. I somehow managed to find a fix for it, and there you guys go. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next, and check out the channel sponsor, Zap Hosting, down in the description below, and use code HIROTUBER, no capitals or spaces, for your next server with them. And that will give you guys 20% off. And also they do Minecraft servers. They do VPSs. So they're just a really, really good place if you guys are in the market for pretty much any servers. So be sure to check them out. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.